Good morning, friends. I'm Diane, and welcome to my farmstead dream. I just wanted to share a little bit of my crazy, wild garden with y'all this morning. She has exploded with beauty and splendor. Look at the wild carrot that popped up. And I know that it's Queen Anne's Lace because I did my research. My sunflowers are starting to get tops on them. And then check this out. That is a Cracker Jack Marigold. Have y'all ever seen a marigold get that tall? That's about three feet tall, maybe a little taller. I've never seen that. My cabbages are looking wonderful. And my potatoes are getting ready to come up. Those are more of those Cracker Jack marigolds. I mean, it's crazy how tall they are. You can kind of get a gauge of it this way. When you look at the, the cabbages. How crazy is that? So I'm just going to take you around. I'm just sharing this morning while I'm out here early. It's a little before 7. The birds are singing. It's peaceful. Not really a whole lot going on yet. And y'all look. My sunflowers are blooming. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. And I think what I'm going to do is my sweet neighbor behind me was so gracious to water my garden while I was gone for mom's funeral services. And so I'm going to cut some of my sunflowers and some fresh flowers and make an arrangement for her with her thank you gift and take it to her. Do you think that's appropriate? I couldn't think of anything that I could get her and I just thought about that this morning and I thought, how pretty would that be? So, I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. And then I'm going to, I need to do some clean out in this bed and add some new things. All of these radishes, they petered out and didn't do anything. So, I need to pull them out so the things underneath can get a little sunlight. And I'm just now noticing this. This is a volunteer tomato that came up and it looks like something's eating it can you see that i don't know what it is on this side of this cucumber trellis but something is killing my cucumbers on this side and now it's getting my tomato so i'm not sure what that is i don't know what's doing that so i guess i need to do a little research but yeah, there's my cucumbers on the back trellis. And did y'all see my big sunflowers? Check this out. They're, they're probably three or four feet above the roof line right here. So they're probably about 10 or 11 feet tall. It's just crazy. <laughs> my tomatoes are starting to blush. These are... The micro tomatoes. And my sweet peas, they're kind of dying out. So I'm letting the rest of the peas dry on the vine so I can have the seeds and replant some for the fall. Look at these. These are called cherrylicious tomatoes and they're a mix between a purple and a red different colored tomatoes so I'm excited about those I haven't got to have any of those yet and then look at my tomatillas they are absolutely <laughs> taken over and I've never grown tomatillos before so I don't know how to maintain them so I need to do some research on that there's some more sweet peas and they're starting to brown at the bottom and then some more 
more cherry licious tomatoes. And this is what made me think of doing the flower arrangement because this one is broken. You see that? And so I thought, well, why not just take it in and make a flower arrangement out of it? And then I realized that I could give it to my neighbor. Look how gorgeous those are. Look at that beauty. And my cucumbers are definitely petering out. They've got some something on them. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but if, if you can see, you see that cucumber right there? It's gross. It's dying. So I don't know. I'm not sure what's causing that. And even all the way over here, see that one? So I need to get those off this morning. And I do have some healthy ones over here. See, that one's growing okay. But then right beside it, there's another one that's dying. If you know what that is, would you leave it in the comments below? So, because I knew that they were starting to die out, um, I went ahead and planted some more. And they're starting to sprout. But I can even see some damage on that one a little. So I have quite a few. See? See that one right there? I mean, he's not looking so great. And I don't know what's causing the problem. And y'all, I have volunteer vinca growing everywhere in my garden. We're going to come around to the front for a minute because, sorry about my finger, uh, that stinking air conditioner came on. So look at my zinnias. They have literally exploded in this bed. How gorgeous are those? I am so excited about these. How very pretty. And then I don't know if you can see that I've got some Rudbeckia popping up in here. There's some more back here. And then look at my cone flowers. No, not cone flowers. These are Cosmos. pretty are they? They have popped up everywhere. Where do you see this? Okay, this is <laughs> this is the front of the house. There's more Cosmos and more Cosmos and then <laughs> check this out. They have actually taken over this bed. This, These here are potatoes and they're getting ready to come out soon. I have a sunflower that just kind of popped up. And in between all of those, <laughs> there are some green beans. I don't know if you can see. But yeah. And it looks a little wild. But I'm okay with that. I'm sure my neighbors probably are not. But it's not their flower bed. It's mine. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy it. How pretty are those cosmos? I love them. They're one of my favorites. And then look at these tomatoes. They have gone crazy. These were the extra tomatoes I didn't have room for in the back. Look, there's another Cosmo. <laughs> yeah, I got some good green ones coming up on there. Some good size ones too. Those are giant crimson. And then these ones are yellow pear. And then these down here are called Ukrainian Purple. And then those right there are more yellow pear. I hope I'm not making y'all dizzy. I'm trying to move the camera slow. So, yeah, look, there's another Cosmo back there. <laughs> Sorry about my camera. There's a huge Cosmo right there. And I love that some of them are this beautiful orange. And then some of them are a golden yellow. How pretty. 
And then there's the volunteer tomatoes. There's, I think, three right there. And then I planted an herb bed. And then <laughs> we'll go around here. Y'all, my peppers have gone crazy. Y'all see these? They're getting so big. And then here are my hollyhocks. There's three hollyhock plants right here that have gone crazy. This is a volunteer tomato. And then back there is a volunteer tomato. And that volunteer cucumber. <laughs> None of these I planted. Thank you, squirrels. <laughs> So, and then look at my gorgeous zinnias that just popped up in this bed. I did plant some zinnias in here last year, so they probably dropped some seeds. And I have some huge peppers down here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Um, maybe? <laughs> and then... My Swiss chard I'm letting go to seed. I'm getting another purple bell that I'm excited about. And then there's an orange one in there. I know I'm moving the camera around a lot. I've got zinnias that have just popped up everywhere. But these I planted. I'm not sure if I planted this one or not. <laughs> but they're just popping through everything. My kale has gone crazy. More, and this is rainbow chard. Look how pretty. Another volunteer tomato. And nasturtiums. How pretty is that color, Zumia? My parsley's looking good. That lemon balm's going crazy, and look how pretty the lavender is. Got some thyme back there. Another volunteer tomato. <laughs> My oregano's doing okay. And another volunteer tomato. Should I move these tomatoes, y'all? I'm just not sure. Okay, the air conditioner stopped, so <laughs> we're back around here. Look, those are San Marzano tomatoes that are starting to blush. Got some more giant crimson here. These are green zebra tomatoes that I am super excited about because... I have been trying for three years to grow some of these, but judging by this, they're not supposed to be red, so I don't know if they got cross-pollinated with another tomato or what, but we got some beef steaks right here, and then we have some huge tomatoes down here, some that are blushing, so I'm going to grab those this evening because it's better to harvest your tomatoes in the afternoon or evening these are those sunflowers that i transplanted and they they're doing okay um but anyway it's it's better to transplant i mean to um harvest your tomatoes in the evening or afternoon once the sun has been on them because it it lets the sugars get more active in it and they're sweeter tomatoes. I got a squash in there. My beans are growing and I'm starting to get some peppers. These are called cowhorn hot peppers. Tabasco peppers. Mammoth jalapeno peppers. And then these sunflowers are getting big. And this is where I cleared out the broccoli and replanted some zucchini and squash and some beans. And they're popping up everywhere in here. Those are some of the purple Haricovere green beans. Well, I guess they're not green beans if they're purple, right? 
but they do turn green when you cook them. And then another patch of zinnias. And in, mingled in here are potatoes and they are ready to harvest. So I thought I would let the kids help me harvest them. Look at that gorgeous purple zinnia. I thought I would let the kids help me harvest them because for me, harvesting potatoes is kind of like a treasure hunt. <laughs> so that squash died, but this one might give me another squash. And then I have a pretty good sized cabbage there. A couple of spaghetti squashes. Those plants are struggling though, so I planted some more and I've got some more popping up. I don't know if you can, there's a couple and there's a couple. So I'm hoping those do well. And then my cantaloupes and look at this big, big cabbage right there. I need to harvest that one this morning too. And then I've got some watermelons that I need to get off the ground. Cantaloupes. I'm excited for some good sweet cantaloupes. And we're back around. Just want to show y'all one more thing. Right down here where my carrots are. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can. Oh yeah. Can y'all see how big that carrot is huge and I've got several of them sorry about the finger I have several of them that size in here and I've got some onions that are getting ready back there and then these carrots are doing really really good this may be the way to go I just put these in this is this is a bag I got from Walmart last year and I just put some dirt in it <laughs> and threw these carrot seeds in there and they're doing excellent. Okay, so that's just a little share of my garden. I think that sunflower is going to be blooming soon. So anyways, thanks for letting me share my garden with y'all this morning. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment all the fun stuff to help me grow my channel and i've got a lot of work to do so i better get to work i'm going to feed them some banana tea and get some maintenance things done so i will see y'all in the next video big hugs and don't forget to spread your seeds of kindness <laughs>